my God. Um, and be honest. Uh, how racist are you on a scale from one to 10? I'd like to say 10. Hmm? But. Hmm? What? Oh, snap. Yo, what's up with y'all, man? I'm back here with another video. Uh, my name is Lance Reacts. Now I'm saying Lance Reacts. Um, to be honest, I don't even know what video I'm going to be reacting to today. We're about to just freestyle it because um, it's. It's late, I'm bored, and I want to react to something, but I don't know what it is. So y'all go on sit here and watch me free- Nah, but for real, I seen- I low-key just found this video, let's just say, cut. It's a cut video, so it gotta be good. It's a cut video. It say, from 1 to 10, how racist are you? Keep it 100. Cut. This sound like it's about to be a good video. Let's get into it. Oh. Are you on a scale from one to ten? I'm, I'm gonna say if you live in America and you were born here and you're grown up and you're fifty. S say some bullshit! I dare you. Look at him trying to find some excuses already. Clown. <laughs> Talking about. Well, if you're this, that. Like, nigga. Let's see what you say though. Plus. Good luck if you're below five. Good luck if you're below. How racist five. are you on a scale of one to ten? Racist. Yeah, I don't think she's racist, bro. Oh. Oh my god. Um. And be honest. Uh. How racist are you on a scale from 1 to 10? I'd like to say 10. Hmm? But. Hmm? What? So openly. I think being white, I can't say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, really? <laughs> Give you guys oh, okay, no, 10 means like super racist. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. <laughs> you, no, you, you're dumb. She's blonde though, so I'll get rid of that. <laughs> I hate everybody equally. How racist are you? Uh, zero. 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 The type of family I come from, the type of people I'm around, I'm around a diverse, you know, family, people, and things like that, so no. Not racist at all? Yeah, no. I wouldn't say so. How racist are you? Between a three and four of okay. racist? I would say four. A four just because I think that there are things that I'm ignorant to, so it's not that I sit here to be racist, but I think that there's just things that I still need to learn. Like, I definitely feel like I could have better thoughts, like the initial thoughts, and like try to unlearn a lot of things, so. I'm a one due to accidental racism. Now give me an example of accidental racism. I'm Filipino and sometimes I will mistake in some people for like different Asian races. For me, because I'm Asian, I definitely will acknowledge like there are times where I'm like, damn, like my people really be doing this. Growing up in not racist, like, an Asian bro. household is more like we discriminate against each other. It was always just like, oh yeah, you know, if you're uh, Chinese, then you're like cheap with like money, but you have money. Korean, then you're gonna be someone that's uh, just kind of like put yourself above everyone else, super stuck up. In my Vietnamese household, um, I feel like Vietnamese people, they're a little bit more judgy. And so everywhere you go, um, there'd be things like um, they would point out. And so that's why I- I mean, they're making it better by like saying it, but like they talking about some four or five, they're not giving any reasons, it's making me question. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? You started noticing what that too? That? Well, sometimes I'm making joke of myself as a thinking on Asian. I can't do this, right? <laughs> Something there is a bad driver I see. I'm just saying, I think she is a female Asian driver. <laughs> I can say because of myself is that. How racist are you on a scale from one to 10? Towards my own race, probably like a five. See me, I'm, I'm racist towards my own race. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Feel me like I don't even, I don't even fuck with them, them watermelon, those bone dirt demon, bone sucking, fucking tar donkey. The list goes on, but yeah. Who's your own race? I'm Asian and white. I'm waiting for one so person. Those to are the say two races I usually pick on. I'm Latinx. I was born in Mexico. Like sometimes I, I met other like I meet other like Latinx people and they tell me like you know some situation. I'm just like, oh yeah, that's such a Mexican thing. How racist are you on a scale of one to ten? I um. What's your number? 
consciously, I want to say one. I mean, I would say like a one. one, one. Probably like one. Point five. On a scale of one to ten, how racist are you? One. You're confident in that number? Yes. I feel like saying one is is almost ignorant of all the unconscious biases that I probably carry. Yeah. So. But if you're a one, you could say you're. I I try to actively work to be a one. One, ideally, one. Ideally, hopefully what not about anything actually? more. Actually, actually, probably around that too. How racist are you? Probably two. My mom. The fact that they put him right here as a thumbnail, I thought he was going to say 10. Mom was pretty broad-minded and she made us broad-minded. We had plenty of contact with everybody. There was Hispanics and colored people and oriental people. And I know the, the words are all changed now, so everyone gets pissed about their little things. How racist are you? Uh, Graham's got it right I there. like hope I'm not a 10. I feel like that's a question for other people, not for me. Have you ever said or- Graham's actually cool. I'm sure I have, like microaggressions are not Wait, for me. Have I like hope I'm not Wait. a 10. I feel like that's a question for other people, not for me. Have you ever said or done something racist? Oh. I'm sure I have. Like microaggressions are a part of life, and uh, I, guess that I have. Me, what's a microaggression? I mean, just saying. Are things... you fucking dumb? Like the person that's asking these questions is like, damn. That you don't understand in the moment that can be harmful or hurtful or you know perpetuate stereotypes. What's the most racist thing you've ever done? Uh, <laughs> maybe just like move to the other side of the room when I see someone, or just like have like a racist thought in my head, and I'm just like, oh, why did I think that, you know? On a scale of one to 10, how racist are you? Factually, black people- That little voice in your head gonna say the most evilest shit in the world, so get used to it. Do not have the structural power in the United States to be racist. Racism comes from oh, here's people another video. in power, in a position to have authority against those do, that do not have that power and that authority. Someone who identifies with the minority community um, it is not possible for me to be racist. So I believe that to an extent. I mean, is it racist? Well, no, you can be racist, bro. Just, you, you just can't be racist towards white people, you know? Like, black people just can't be racist towards white people because, yeah. Like, be racist to racist? I actually don't believe that black people can be racist. Black people can be racist, bro, you can. Whoever told you that they lied, you can be racist. Like, I can be black right now, right? Look, me as a black person, I think I'm black. Fuck, I don't know. Me as a blackie. Oh, shit. But look, I can literally go to an Asian person or a Hispanic person or an Indian person, somebody, and I can literally just, like, if I was racist, I could be racist. I could see the most craziest shit in the world. That don't, that don't mean, like, I, that, like that, just because I'm not going to say it to white people don't mean I can't say it to any other race. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, what the fuck are they talking about? Yeah, you can be racist, bro. They tripping. I don't know who told them that. Probably was a video or something. Because I've seen some video about that, too. I think I'm talking about I don't know, bro. Like, I still, there's still a couple of, like, hesit like hesitant moments with around, like, white people especially. I'm predicting how their behavior will be because of the color of their skin, which is, like, definitely racist. But it's like... It's a reaction, it's a reaction rather than like, I hate those people. It's like, I hate that those people probably hate me. So, yeah, yeah. I grew up around a lot of Latinos and blacks and they always told me, they were all like, yeah, white people's the enemy and we should avoid them. And I always just had that kind of mindset, you know? I realized that the, the anger was hurting me more than anyone else around me. So it just took a lot of self-reflecting, figuring out where that anger was coming from and then, you know, just learning to control it better. There are okay. natural Legend. biases, especially when, you know, you like are a person of color because you, in essence, want to protect yourself. And there's a lot of things that have happened to or you Miguel. and people you know. But I would say that I feel like I am very biased sometimes or that I group people and I like kind of go along with stereotypes. A black person can be racist to a Hispanic person. A black person can be racist to Pacific Islander. I can still be prejudiced and hurt somebody, so I have to be aware of that. On a scale of one to ten, how ra Didn't I just say it, bro? Am I am I am I Raven Simone, bro, at this point? 
racist are you? I'm gonna go I'm with really a good. four, just, just because of ingrained shit. Just Lived in a small town, moved to the big city, and and uh, like learned a lot. So. How right? Don't she like library? Racist are you? Maybe like a. a she looks like a skater. Five? I feel like five is a safe number for it's anyone not. to start at, and then you can work yourself. I think that everyone's really, really biased, so I'd probably say five or six. I think we're all racist, given the society we live in and the way- Oh, we're not all racist. What are you talking about? Is this you, ma'am? I would say stereotypical. Yes, we are all stereotypical, in a sense. But racist is crazy. Do you not know what racist is? Racism is ingrained in us. There's a lot of shit that I learned consciously and subconsciously that it takes a while to know that is happening and then a while to really undo what's happening. I was raised by like Catholic white parents. I can't help that like as a child, yeah, I learned that. certain things that like now living in a very progressive city, I would like highly disagree with. What's the most racist thing you've ever done? I used to work retail and my managers on the walkie would like tell me to customer service certain people like on the walkie um like their descriptions were just like just cringe like and then <laughs> you like cringe. participated yeah once <laughs> what on so a damn she looks so ashamed i feel bad look at her face at the end yeah once damn. on a scale of one to ten how racist Sorry. are you the furthest negative that you could possibly believe in. I don't think I'm racist so at all. <laughs> I'm gonna go for zero, but I do I think sometimes, like, yeah. if we're not aware, Her casual racism green. occurs. So I don't really Hers notice people's color or really hold any judgments. Some people just, like, have, like, Hers a culture and, like, a way of thinking where they don't realize they're playing into, like, stereotypes. I think a lot of people um, have some type of like internalized racism, so I don't think anyone is really like a zero. How racist are you? Intentionally racist, I would say zero. There have been moments where I've said something ignorant and was corrected. One of my friends at the time was like Egyptian and I like made an assumption that like one of her gods were a cat. She just didn't respond well. That's not racist, bro. It's just. It's just a mistake. To that. I feel like you could reevaluate your number. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Because it does look like a cat. You. I try my like, best to be close to the not one like two that. range. Sometimes stereotypes will pop up in my finished. head. That used to make me feel really guilty that I like would think these stereotypes. I don't give a but fuck, then man. I learned that like being anti-racist isn't just like not having any prejudices. It's in fact recognizing when they pop up and dismissing them and knowing like that isn't true that's just a stereotype that's just a prejudice on a scale from one to ten how racist are you but i think everyone has that internalized biases so i'd say i just i'm, I'm maybe a two maybe a two fuck is it um what's the guy name bro johnny sends <laughs> johnny S wait get a lot of get a lot of this guy Get a lot of this guy. Just wanna, just wanna grab that cranium you got. That large ass cranium. But that's actually Johnny's three. Sins. Three. I will give hell? myself a three. A three, cause I'm not acting. Max from Stranger Things, bro. All these people look so like familiar, bro. I don't. Know. Enough with it. Wherever you grew up, like you kind of. I am not gonna say like you can't help it, but um, you're kind of fed things when you're little. I'm not perfect. Nobody's Wait, what perfect. You mean fed things and I recognize that I am a white person now, and I have a lot of white privilege and I've benefited a lot in my career and in the world from the color of my skin. And I can't say that I haven't like at some points enjoyed reaping the rewards of the colors of my skin. Growing up in a small Damn. town, um, that was- She basically just said she enjoys white power. It's like, that's not what she said. She said white privilege though, basically. It's predominantly white. I think there's a lot of unconscious bias to me to be mitigated and caring more about seeming like you're a bad person rather than just like, she like genuinely um, being a good person, whether you get credit it. for that or not. What's the most racist thing you've done? I don't know if it's like me She's being racist, racist, but it's like me being in the face of racism and being racist back. So I was in Turkey in 2020 during like China virus, um, and people wouldn't let me on public transportation because they thought I was Chinese, so I would just tell them I'm Korean. I would just pick a different race whenever. Like, I was like, Konnichiwa, I'm Japanese. And they're like, all right, come on in, you know? So. You were playing on their racism. Wow. Yeah, yeah. 
Wow. He was. Oh, okay. That's happened to you. Well, I've been called a wetback. Um. I've been flat called out. Been called the N word. Yeah, I knew it. How that makes you feel? Hurts. Wait. <laughs> feel great. Fuck. Like, what you mean? How did that make you feel? You know. Just to be judged immediately off of the color of my skin. Like when I was a kid. You've been called the N-word. How did that make you feel? And like the neighbors used to not play with me because I was black and they would be, they would play with my brother because he was light skinned. What can people do to dismantle their own racism? That's a personal journey. As a black man, I'm not here to educate you, but there's plenty of resources out there. I would say look N-word in moments yeah. where you feel uncomfortable, lean into that. Ask yourself, why do I feel this way? And then, and then and while you're in that delicious. moment, Chicken, when you're looking into yourself and saying, why do I feel this way? Say, I don't give a fuck, nigga. All right, I'm done cursing too much. No, I'm not. Fuck y'all. But if y'all like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. We figured out who some people are. They're not really racist, but they racist, but they racist, racist when they're not being racist. I really don't understand. I'm kind of tired. Um, you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, like I said before. Um, I love you all, but I also hate y'all. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, but I don't know what's wrong with me at the same time. I'm tired. That's why I'm talking like this. I'm not talking too much. All right, I'm tired of talking for real. But, um, yeah, they wasn't really racist. Not all of them. They was just scared. They was just, like, prejudiced. Not prejudiced, but, like, they just, I don't, they just, they just human at this point. Yeah, so. Yeah, bye. Peace.